One of the kids in my class, when I was in primary school, his mum was a child agent. She came to watch him in the play and in doing so saw me at the same time. Saw my mum at the end, gave her a card and said, your son's got talent. So I got talent spotted. Uh, my name is Arnold, but the students at Gravely School know me as Mr. Oche. My first day teaching? Yeah. I was so nervous. Um, my first day teaching, I, I, I was... I think, I think I shadowed another teacher. But it was good. The day, the day went um, smoothly. It, was, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would go. It was alright. I enjoyed it, to be honest. I like teaching because I just, I just like working with, with young people. Um, I feel like I've got a lot to, to say and I've got a lot to give and a lot of input that I never necessarily had when I was growing up. You know, an older version of me looking at me, myself, when I was in school, I never thought I'd be, uh, you know, be teaching in a secondary school, but um, I, I really do enjoy it. Like, it gives me a sense of purpose, you know. Alright, so year nine, what I've heard is you guys are creating a pencil holder, is that correct? No! no. no. My main inspiration, uh, honestly, I've said it all the time, it would be my mum. You know, I come from a family of refugees, my mum's Ugandan, and, you know, we came to this country, I came here when I was one, but we came here running away from the, the civil war that was happening in Uganda. You know, my, my father passed away. So all these, all, all these uh, events that happened in my life, and my mum has been the one pillar and the one strong thing that's always been there for me. I'm very, very proud of you. No words can even explain it. Thank you, mama. It's very difficult to, to juggle both jobs because they're both demanding. And that's the thing with acting. It's hard to follow your dreams, but then to try to uh, find steady income. You get asked many times by people, but they know you're an actor. When's your cutoff point? Like, if you haven't made it by this age, when, when's your cutoff point? But I always say to them, don't have a cutoff point. If this is your passion, you should never have a cutoff point. Why? I would like to believe that I will never stop teaching. I, I hope I'm inspiring the students when I'm, when I'm about or when I'm in school. The last thing I want to do is disrupt them. Because I've always said that if it gets to the point where I feel like I'm, I'm disrupting their, their work, they start taking out phones and Snapchatting, taking pictures of you and whatnot, that's, that's not what I'm about. It's been a great response being here at the school and I'm happy. <laughs>